I think that we can be happy first because um, we got the six stadiums. So the six stadiums finally, if I may say so, uh, are delivered and uh, FIFA will be able to use them with the local organizing committee to uh, organize this Confederations Cup for sure. There is still some work uh, uh, to do around the stadium in the precinct uh, and, uh, and this work will happen after the Confederations Cup. The Confederations Cup, I can tell you that if the Confederations Cup would not exist, uh, we should have invented immediately the Confederations Cup because it's, uh, it is a great tournament with uh, top, top teams, but it is a tournament we really need in order to see, to test, uh, to make sure that uh, we understand what has to be changed, improved, uh, for the World Cup in Brazil. The focus now is, is on the Confederations Cup and I can tell you that um, the stadium of Brasilia is just an amazing stadium. Not only from outside because it, it looks like a Coliseum, uh, but the, the, the structure, I mean, it's a football stadium. Wherever you are seated, I mean, you, you look at the pitch, you, are, you have the feeling to be so close to the pitch. Uh, Maracana is just Maracana. It's, it's a wide stadium, it's a huge stadium, even so it's uh, half a uh, number of seats than in the past. Uh, but it's a beautiful stadium, beautiful colors, very light, very uh, easy to, uh, to, to be in. Uh, and I'm sure a stadium which would be used for for, for many, many events, and not only just for football games. It's a country of football, it's uh, what we say the mecca of football, uh, so that's why maybe uh, also 76% of the tickets have been already sold for, 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 for the tournament. Uh, so the fans I have no, no, no question about, it's mainly Brazilian fans who have bought the tickets. Uh, the city itself is okay, Brasilia is an easy city. Uh, if you compare to other cities, uh, to move um, the, uh, for the mobi urban mobility uh, in the city. Uh, the, the stadium, again, the, 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 the most of the stadium is ready. I mean, to play the tournament, it's ready. There will be some work outside, but it's very clean and, and, and very nice. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we pushed. Uh, the, the, there were a lot of delays. I mean, the, the stadium was delivery uh, far beyond the delivery date. Uh, but again, at the end, it's a, it's a, it's a great, um, great success. I think that it will be very different from the Confed Cup to the World Cup. Uh, um, because, again, you have a lot of people traveling from abroad uh, for the World Cup and a lot less for the Confederations Cup. Uh, for the World Cup, for sure, you will have plenty of things organized on Copacabana Beach. You will have the Fan Fest. You will have, a, uh, I think, you will have a concert uh, which finally will be organized on Copacabana Beach. Um, so you will have a, an activity on Copacabana and the beaches around, Les Blancs, Ipanema, etc., which will be just amazing. For the Confederations Cup, again, it, it would be a more Brazilian event. It depends also a lot on how Brazil will play. If Brazil plays the final uh, in Rio, on the 30th of June, for sure, you will have uh, suddenly a fever in Rio, which is, uh, which is unique. Uh, if uh, Brazil is, uh, you know that at the World Cup, uh, the only one time Brazil can play at the Maracana Stadium is if they play the final. Uh, before that, they have, uh, they, they, with the match schedule we have, they will not play in, uh, in Rio. So uh, it, it will be, Brazil will be, um, I mean, we can say a big party, but it will be a big fiesta. Uh, for, for, for the World Cup because, again, I mean, football is, is a religion and football uh, and the fans uh, love it. Uh, uh, I just hope that, again, Brazil will play very well.